Hey YouTube Nation, it's the Homie Game Guru here for another craft video. Now if you guys remember, back in December, I made a glow-in-the-dark craft based on Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon Prism. I really enjoyed making this, but what disappointed me is that uh, I bought some Martha Stewart glow-in-the-dark paint to apply to it, and it worked very, very faintly, and I was very disappointed in uh, just how weak the glow-in-the-dark effect was. So what I decided to do is I started contacting companies that make specialized, strong glow-in-the-dark paint to see if they would be interested in sending me some samples for me to try because I really want to do more with glow-in-the-dark. And a company called Glow Ink decided to send me some samples of their glow-in-the-dark paint and some fluorescent paint and see what I can do with it. So my decision was, based on the new season of Daredevil that's coming out on Netflix, it's one of my favorite comic book shows of all time. I think it's one of the best that's ever been made. I've decided to make, as you can see, Punisher, Daredevil, just simple 3D 11 by 17 posters of their famous uh, logos. And again, simple process. I've showed this before with my video on how to make the 3D comic book covers. But I'm going to show you just how you could have something like this. And with the right glow in the dark paint, you could have an amazing design for any room in your house. As mentioned before, the Pink Floyd Prism did glow a little bit when charged for hours using the Martha Stewart glow-in-the-dark finish I bought at Michael's. They've even used another store-bought option from Rust-Oleum, but the weak results were still the same. But before I get into the paint supplied by Glow Ink, let's make some 3D posters. Using Photoshop in my local print and copy store, I made simple 11 by 17 designs of both the Punisher and Daredevil symbols. I made two copies of each logo and used one of the copies to trace two cardboard replicas each. The logos were then glued on to the cardboard copies. Glowing sent me a bunch of glow-in-the-dark and fluorescent small samples of numerous colors. I'm going to use their glow-in-the-dark white for the Punisher skull and red for Daredevil's double Ds. To finish the 3D effect, the remaining cardboard replicas are glued onto the top symbols. Even though the samples provided to me by Glow Ink are small, I was surprised by how thick the paints were. It was more than enough to apply two coats to both the Punisher and Daredevil symbols. Also, the paints dry very quickly. Within minutes of putting on the last coat, I was able to touch the surface and complete the design by gluing the symbols to the 11 by 17 bases. Here are my two 11 by 17 symbol designs that give a nice and simple 3D look during the day. And once night comes around and the lights are off, BAM! This is what I'm talking about. A real strong glow-in-the-dark effect that will last for hours. And as for the Pink Floyd tree topper, just one coat of Glow Ink's green glow-in-the-dark paint helped finally bring out its potential. See for yourself. If interested in ordering Glow Ink's paints, please visit the website listed in the description area. If you're tired of weak store-bought options, their paints will deliver strong results you need. The proof is right here. Happy creating, and see you next time with my next cardboard creation.